name's Rob Clancy. I'm a senior instructor with Jaguar Land Rover Experience. We're here in the Accursed Mountains in northern Albania. We've been driving some very steep, rough, rocky tracks. We've had some very steep inclines and descents. We've had a lot of river crossings and some very high passes that have been covered in snow. The five terrain response settings we have available in the Discovery are general programs, grass, gravel, snow for anything very slippery, mud and ruts, sand and rock crawl. We've got a steep slippery track but at the bottom of it we've got quite a big step over some tree roots. So for this one I'm using rock crawl so I get the differential locks to come in much quicker. I've also manually selected second gear so I can carry that little bit of momentum all the way to the top. This one's quite a smooth, slippery hill. Boulders covered in snow, but there's no big articulation here, so I'm using grass, gravel, snow. But I've just changed it up to third gear just to carry that momentum all the way to the top. We're driving into some deeper snow here. It's drifted in places, so some is deeper than others. So what I'm doing, I'm driving into it and compacting it and then backing out. What I'm not doing is driving in so far that I get the car bellied out. Each time I back out, I can then drive in a little bit deeper and compact it a little bit more. What I can also do is move the steering around a bit so it frees up a bit of space around the front wheels to allow us to move forward again. With a river crossing, the current flow is one of the bigger problems along with the depth. We're going into it nice and steady so we don't drown the car and get the electrics wet or get water going into the air intake. Then we're looking to just go across a steady speed that creates a bit of a bow wave that pushes the water ahead of us rather than us being in the full depth of it.